Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a quick review and tutorial on the Mayel Organics Rice Water Collection. It is her very new collection, it just came out this week. As you know with Mayel, um, the packaging is always amazing. So the products that we're gonna be reviewing are the Shine Mist, the Split In Therapy, the Moisturizing Milk, and of course the Rice Water Clay Mask. All right, so you know I like to get straight to the point. Um, <laughs> the product that's in my hair right now is the Miel Moisture RX Overnight Deep Conditioner. I put it on last night and allowed it to just sit overnight. And now I'm gonna rinse it out before applying the Rice Water Split In Therapy. I did a video on this Moisture RX line, so I'll link it below if you're interested in this product. All right, so as you can see, I've rinsed out the overnight deep conditioner. Now I'm gonna apply the rice water split in therapy. Um, you only need a dime size amount, but you know us type four naturals do not listen. So watch me apply way more product than I actually probably need according to the instructions. Nevertheless, um, the product smells amazing. It smells so much better than just regular white rice water. So you'll notice it as soon as you put it on how good it smells. Look at it more. That's not what you're supposed to do, but it still works fine. So the split end therapy is a lightweight product that is designed to strengthen against split ends. And the ingredients include rice water and yuzu, both to assist with nourishing your hair. And it also works to prevent um, future damage. So it's supposed to be lightweight enough for you to apply every day. I don't know that I would apply it every day. I was kind of confused by um, the instructions because even though you can apply it every day, it also says that you should rinse it out. So I was a little unclear on that, but um, I do like the product. It does make your hair feel really, really soft and I do think that it's worth it. All right, so now I have applied it to all of the sections. I'm going to put on a plastic cap and then I'm going to leave this in my hair for about 10 minutes and I'll rinse it out. All right, so brace yourself. Thanks to the quarantine, you will see a lot of my little unpaid intern here. So I've rinsed out the rice water therapy. Now I am applying the Mio pomegranate and honey shampoo. Um, this is how I wash my hair. It's always in sections because you want to make sure that you get it clean. You definitely want to focus on your scalp as well. And I love this shampoo. It's very moisturizing and conditioning. So it is my go-to shampoo product. All right, so now we are going to move on to the rice water clay mask. So it smells interesting, like it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell as good as the uh, split end therapy, but it's still, it'll get the job done. So as you'll see, um, I'm going to split my hair into very small sections or smaller sections to make sure I'm applying the product to every strand of my hair. I haven't used a clay mask before. I wanna say this is my first time ever trying any clay mask. So um, I'm excited to see how it turns out. So the clay mask is actually, um, it has a dual purpose. It's for your hair and your body. It is a detoxifier. So it's designed to detoxify and remove impurities while putting moisture back into your hair and skin. So I'm interested to see how it works on my hair. I'm not gonna try it on my body yet, <laughs> but um, so far so good for the hair.
All right, so y'all broke best friend is back. Again, oh look, it's his video now. No, it's hard to ignore him, but work with me. Um, so you're gonna, once you apply this product all over your hair, you're gonna put on a shower cap and then you're gonna let it sit for like 20 to 30 minutes. So I let it sit on for about 30 minutes before, it, Jesus. I let it sit on for 30 minutes before I rinsed it out. All right, so I have rinsed out the mask and my hair feels amazing. The mask is the bomb, especially, I know it's just an introductory price, but it was only $5. So to get a Mio mask for $5 was still, but definitely worth it. So moving on, now I'm applying the Mio Moisture RX Leave-In Conditioner. Before I start to style my hair, I always put on a leave-in conditioner. Um, I'm applying it to both sides of my hair. I'm going to apply the Rice Water Moisture Milk. It smells really good as well. Um, I'm going to apply the styling products in the order Monique Rodriguez is live the other night. She's the owner of Mayel. So basically she did this um, order that you're about to see, but she did it for a wash and go. I cannot do a wash and go. Y'all know that by now. So I'm going to do a different style. So first it was the moisture milk. Now I'm going to apply the Miel Moisture RX Styling Gel. And then I'm going to work that product through. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to apply the Miel Mint Almond Oil. And then I brush it all through to detangle. And the style that I'm going to do today is um, a flat twist and it's going to be a regular two strand twist at the end because as you can see from our frequent interruptions, I need to get this hair done <laughs> quickly and probably go give him another math assignment to do. I did make a slight change to the way she used the products. Instead of using the Moisture RX leave-in conditioner, she used a pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner for her wash and go. So that's just in case anybody that's watching that wants to try this these um, products for a wash and go and you want to try the method that she used, I want to make sure that you have an accurate way of doing that. Um, also ignore that nail that's missing. We'll work that out before I get back here as well. That's just not okay. But you know, quarantine. So by now you've been here long enough, you might as well go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like this video if you are interested in seeing more of my content. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So one of the things that I really like about Mayel's products is that you really only need a small amount of each product. So here you see me using a dime size of the moisture milk and then you'll also see me applying a dime size of the styling gel and then you can also do like a very small size of the mint almond oil. This is great because as you all know being natural is not cheap. So anytime you get an opportunity to kind of prolong the use of these products, it's always great.
So once you're done, you're just gonna let your hair air dry. This is a really good, quick, go-to uh, style. With the big twist, you don't get as much definition, but I'm going for like a big picked out afro, so it'll be fine. All right, so I'm back. I look like a person and I fixed my nail. Now we're gonna apply the mint almond oil. I let my hair dry for a couple of hours. Um, and it seemed to be fully dry. I think the back may not be all the way dry, but it's fine, we'll figure it out. So you apply the mint almond oil to your hand before you take your hair out. The takedown of your hair is as important as the style. So you need to make sure that you take it down carefully and you always wanna use oil. If you don't, your hair will be really, really frizzy. So since I don't think that the back of my hair is dry, this is a pretty good time to answer the question I get the most, which is how do I wear a fedora with my natural hair? This is the easiest way to do it. Um, don't take out the back of your hair. <laughs> Just put a fedora on top. So because that's the only part that's out, it looks neater, it's easy, and if the back of your hair is not dry, you can still go out and live your life. But um, and take that back part out tomorrow and then you know if you actually want to see people go ahead and move the hair out of your face all right moving on so now that the back is out completely I'm gonna go ahead and pick it out to be as big as I want it to be I did big twist because I didn't really want to have a whole lot of definition in the style I wanted the afro to be big I haven't really worn like a big fro in a while um, but I'm not going to separate it too too much because I want it to last for a couple of days There really is no science to picking out your hair you pick based on your preference. So you pick out your hair enough to accommodate whatever style it is that you're trying to do. I always shake my hair. I have no idea why. It's an ongoing problem. I see it, it has no bearing on the style, so you don't have to do that. But anyway, um, you pick out your hair as big as you want it to be. Then of course, to finish it off, you apply your edge control. Now I'm gonna apply the rice water spray mist and i probably should have read the directions before so this is live footage of me realizing that i probably didn't need to apply it so the rice water spray mist is for refreshing and rehydrating your curls and it also adds shine these are new curls they don't need to be refreshed or rehydrated so yeah so that's it i'm all done now i gotta go pretend to be a dinosaur stay safe i hope you enjoy go ahead and subscribe